switching in back with another class. Um, happy Saturday. Um, I hope everybody's as excited as I am as everything started to start to open back up again. You know, able to kind of go out and you know get a sense of normalcy at least. That being said, um, I want to kick off the weekend with a nice, fun metabolic class, right? And uh, to be honest, it's actually my favorite class to take um, because I love feeling like I'm almost about to pass it. No, I'm kidding. I love that metabolic feeling and just being able to get that heart rate up because at the end of the day, you know, you feel a lot better once and more accomplished once you finish exercising. So today's focus is a lot on high intensity interval training, right? That hit factor as well as repetition. We want to be able to get as many reps in as quick as possible and eliminate that rest time, right? So really working through that uncomfortable, uh, fatiguing feeling. Uh, again, if we're feeling any sort of tightness or soreness, maybe spend a little extra time beforehand or during our warm up going over a specific muscle group that maybe you guys feel a little bit tight in. Um, but other than that, we'll get started with a warm up and then we'll get right into our next, our, our series that we usually do, okay? So we'll start nice and light. Start with some knee hugs. Five each side here. One next, let's go ankle grabs. Right foot, right touching our butt. Then we'll add a little heel raise on that foot that's on the ground. Let's go five each side. And bring it back. That standing position. Spread our feet out a little bit wider, shoulders apart. Hands on our hips here. We'll drop right into the morning. So 10 total. Rush to this. We'll get a nice stretch. Spread those feet out a little bit wider. We're going to open up our hips here. We'll go clockwise here. And sort of incorporate our back and our shoulders. As we start getting a little bit more loose, start dropping them a little bit further to the ground. Increase that range of motion here. As we come around, we're pushing those hips out. Go to 10. Counterclockwise, and we'll go 10 clockwise. Switch, go the other way. Ten. Next, let's go kick with a reach. Starting with our right foot, right? We're going to kick it up in the air, touch with our opposite hand, which would be our left, and we're going to go down to the ground with both hands. So, ten to each leg. Let's get a good stretch. So 
Okay. <clears throat> Next, we're going to drop into some squats here. Let's go 10. Try to sink those hips down to the ground. Right, we want to open up our hips as much as we can, push those knees out. Next, let's drop down to the ground. <laughs> Activating our glutes here. Let's go right into fire hydrants, 10 each side. Switch it up. And from here, let's go right into, let's drop down to our stomach. So alternating scorpions, so try to keep our shoulders flat on the ground. And we're just going to rotate our leg over the top of our body. We'll go 10 total. Ten. Get a little abdominal cavity stretch here. All right, so we're just pushing up off the ground, leave our hips, and look up to the ceiling. Kind of rock back and forth, get different angles. Me, I'm bringing my right knee up, pushing up, getting that lateral side. Next, let's go to that figure four position on the ground, right? So we're going to cross our right leg over the top of our body, left leg sticking back, and we'll add a little T-spine reach through. All right, so it's a bit of a two-way stretch. We're stretching our piriformis and our glute, and at the same time, we're trying to get that T-spine rotation. Go 10. Switch it up. Next, get up onto one knee here, slowly work our way back up. Go right into hip flexor stretches. We're gonna rock our pelvis forward again, not just straining our low back, not pushing through our low back. We're gonna push through our hips. Go five rocks, and we'll add a twist. Four, five, and we'll twist the other way. Medial side of our hip flexors, and over the top. And over the top. Oh, there we go. Staying in this position, open up our hips just a little bit more. 
All right, so we're going to drop. We'll start with our right elbow. Bring our right knees up. Drop our right elbow to the floor. All right, really try to make that forearm touch the ground as much as you can. Push your knee out. All right, work on that SI joint a little bit. Just opening up our hips even more. Reach the sky. That opposite hand. Then we'll drop our left elbow to the ground. Reach our right hand to the sky. Ten times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it up here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last but not least, let's work into those gas pedals and the 20 total. And up onto our feet. A little more plyometric warm up. Go bounce, bounce this club for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. In ten. The squat touches for ten. And ten. All right, quick set. We'll get started with series one. Alright, first series. You guys know me, I really like to start before. Get our activated. Um, get, sorry, get our core activated so you know our extremities have to work a little bit harder. Alright, so we're gonna start. Um, this will be a time phase. So this one's really about repetition. Alright, so we'll start with dead bugs for 20 seconds. <coughs> dead bugs on the ground, right? We're on our back, hands are above our head. And as we come up, we're touching our knees and our elbows together and back down. All right? We want this one for repetition, but right, we're not rushing through it and having any sort of limbs to compensate one another. All right? We want to get full range of motion. We just want to eliminate that rest time in between. So that whole entire 20 seconds, we want to push as much as we can. But at the same time, we want that full range of motion. So don't rush, don't get to rush it. Next. After 20 seconds, I'll call it out. I'll grind the crunches, right? So knees are up off the ground, hands behind our head. As we come up with that crunch, right? So just our neck is coming up, bringing our shoulder blades, our scapulae, right off the ground, right? And back down, okay? So think about that. If anything, we want to bring those scaps off the ground. If you want to close your hand placement, that's fine. Right? Our hands behind our head are kind of just a key just to, to let us know how far we're lifted off, right? We don't want to compensate with our neck. Bring your forehead off the ground. So 20 seconds. And then last but not least, we'll be in an isometric phase. We're gonna hold that heat sit right here. Okay. So our butt's gonna be like full crown, shoulders and legs are off the ground. The only thing that should be on the ground is our butt, right? We're working that core again. That'll be an isometric phase. We'll do that for 20 seconds, and then right into 30 uh, second rest, and then right back for another set. We're gonna try to do this one for about maybe four or five rounds. See how many we can get down here. Start about 10 seconds here. Little bit of dead bugs. Here we go, series one. Here we go. 20 seconds. Ten 
seconds. Over the left knee, sit, hold for 20 seconds. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 10 seconds here. Round done. All right, kind of need to move around, stretch a little bit, go for it. We'll start again in about 15 seconds. Again, with these timed ones, we want to try and beat that repetition count. It doesn't mean we want to race through all of our um, exercises so that we're you know, not activating as muscles, but we want to get as much repetition as possible. Here we go, death lifts. Seconds. Ready, crunches. Three, two, one. Look in that knee set for 20 seconds. Drop the shoulders, pull it to the ground. Seconds here, we'll start with the third round. That B hold is getting a little bit too easy, we're not feeling it too much. We can always drop our shoulders back, right? So if we're holding that B sit, we're kind of up here. Drop our shoulders back towards the ground. That creates sort of a longer momentum arm between our feet and our shoulders, making our core have to work a little bit harder to keep us nice and steady. Here we go, three seconds. Round three, here we go. Dead bust. Go. Five seconds. Get over your crunches. Seconds. Three, two, one. That be still. Again, drop your shoulders back. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Three steps down. Two more to go. Seconds. Ten seconds to start with round four. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, dead bucks. Ten seconds. Seconds here. Oh, 
Seconds over crunches. Ten seconds. Sweat on. Let's stretch out if we need it. Sip the water. Yeah, we got that core activated. Move on to that next series. A little movement, kind of more of a dynamic lot movement, right? So just moving around. A lot of repetition again, we're working with the timer. So we'll start with high knees for 20 seconds, right? This entire time, we really want to drive our knees to our chest, right? So we're right here. As much as we can, drive those knees to our chest, right? Our fatiguing nature is just going to want to, you know, just pick our feet up off the ground. We really want to work on really lift those legs up, really using those hip flexors. 20 seconds, then we'll go right into drop squats, okay? Kind of like that warm up we were doing. Those drop squats, dropping our hips down to the ground, up, dropping those hips, okay? But instead of that warm up, right, we want to move a little bit faster. We want to get that repetition in, okay? So really think about that dropping our hips down to the ground. In the last 20 seconds, we'll ride a butt kickers, okay? We're right here, and our heel to our butt. So we'll go 20 second rest time, doing a little bit less, just because it's a little less demanding on the body. Right, so these ones are more designed for that hit training, really just getting that cardiovascular response, getting that heart rate really jacked up there. Okay. Start this next one in about 20 seconds here. Quick white ball if you need it. Ten seconds. All right, here we go. Five seconds to start our high knees. Three, two, one, here we go. Good to have those hands out in front. We can tell kind of where we want our knees. Five seconds. Over to drop squat. Try to get through four or five rounds on this one. That 20 second rest in between. Here we 
we are starting in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. High knees, here we go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop squats. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Four to five fingers. Ten seconds. Try that heel to our butt. And shut it down. 20 second press. We'll go back to that third set. Here we go, starting five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Grab those knees. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one, into those drop squats. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Butt kickers. Ten seconds. And yeah, shut it down. Three done, two to go. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, high knees. Push through that fatigue. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Drop squats. Five, four, three, two, one. Last set of back kickers. And shut down. Twenty second rest. We're going for one last set. Push through. Line up for Saturday. Last one. Five seconds. Three, two, one. High knees. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Drop squats. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shut it down. 
Good work, guys. If you guys are stuck with me this long, give yourself a little pat on the back. That's not an easy series to go through. Here's that first one. All right. Grab a quick set, stretch if you guys need it. I'll explain the next series. So moving on to that foundation movement. Again, it is a metabolic class. We do want to work on a lot of repetition. So we're going to be working down from a pyramid scheme. Right, if you guys have taken my metabolic class before. The pyramid scheme uh, works down from reps. So for example, this next series, we're going to be doing pyramid reverse lunges. We'll start on the right leg. We'll also do the left. Starting on the right. And we're going to drop our right leg back, right back up. Back down, right? So every time we come right back up, that's one rep. We're gonna go all the way to eight. We're gonna super sit that with five squat jumps. Two, three, right? All the way to five. And then we're gonna go right back to that right leg, drop down to seven. Seven, two, three, all the way to seven. Right into five squat jumps. And we're dropping to six. Five squat jumps, five reverse lunges, five squat jumps reverse lunges all the way to one and we'll finish off with those squat jumps and we'll do the other side okay so starting with that series all right we're going to start with that right leg and start with those reverse lunges here we go eight reps one two three four five six seven eight Right into five squat jumps. One, two, three, four, and five. Check it out if you need to. Right into seven first lunges. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Five squat jumps. One, two. You guys are just catching up here. I'll wait for you. Down to six reverse lunges. Remember, we're staying on this right leg for now. And six. Five squat jumps. One, two, three. Four and five. Now for five reverse lunges. All right, eliminating that rest time. Right now, those squat jumps. One, two, three, four, and five. Down for four. Five squat jumps. Three reverse lunges. Five squat jumps. Two, three, four, five. Two, and five squat jumps. Two, three, four, five. Last reverse lunge, and the five squat jumps. We're done with those five, we can take a little rest time. Just to shake out that leg. All right, I started with my right leg back. Do that reverse lunge. We're gonna do bilateral exercises, right? I want symmetry on both sides, so we're gonna work on that left side too. Starting with eight reverse lunges. We're working down. All right, 
we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and five squat jumps. Five, drop down for seven. Six reverse lunges. Five squat jumps. Down for five, almost there. Three, almost there, everybody. Keep pushing. Back to five squat jumps. Those squat jumps are getting a little bit too difficult. We can always just say, right, squats, right? Down for two. Five squat jumps. Last to that last one. All right. Grab that towel, shake those legs out. Go with that foundation movement. We'll finish off with one more exercise. Again, finish off with a build up. This time we're going to be working on that, our shoulder stability. A little bit of core in that plank position. Right, and a little bit of strength. So you guys take a break for a second. I'll kind of explain this one. All right, so we're gonna be staying in that uh, plank position, high point or push up position. Right, your shoulder taps. Okay. So keeping our hips nice and steady, right? We're not slowing them back and forth. One, two, three. Shoulder taps all the way to 10. We're gonna drop down for five push-ups. Now, if those push-ups get too difficult, right? I always like to just drop my knees, and drop into those five right there, okay? We want between three to five push-ups in between, so can't even do five, just try to do at least three. And if those shoulder taps get too fatiguing, all right, we're gonna drop down onto our knees and do those as well. Right, let's have our hands a little bit farther in front. Okay, so both this last exercise we'll be doing on our knees for two tiger. Another 20 seconds or so and we'll get started. This one isn't timed, so you guys can go at your own pace on this one. Right? We'll work down from 10 shoulder taps into five push-ups, nine shoulder taps, five push-ups, eight shoulder taps, five push-ups. Seven, six, five, all the way to one. So the same thing we did with those pyramid lunges. All right, let's get started. Up for 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down for five push -ups. Four, 
try to stay in that plank position all the time. Again, if we need to drop our knees for a second, by all means, go for nine. Five push ups. Eight shoulder taps. Five push ups. Let's break for a second. We'll go for seven shoulder taps. The last exercise, guys, so let's really try to push through. Seven. Six shoulder taps here. Shoulder taps, almost there. Five push ups. A quick rest. Check out those arms. Going down for four shoulder taps. Five push ups. Three shoulder taps. Five push ups. Three shoulder taps here. Five push ups. I said here one shoulder tap. Five. For those of you that are finishing up, we got about two minutes left. Break down, kind of a cool down stretch. Right. We don't want to go straight from high intensity exercise to do absolutely nothing. Go we'll finish with a light stretch. Go we'll static hamstring stretch. The right leg in front to start. Three, stretch the toes. 10 seconds or so. Control your breathing, get your nose up to the mouth. We'll go up the left leg. On our backs, right leg over left, a little low back stretch. Alternating knees to chest here. Keep that hip joint around a little bit. Ankle grabs, get a nice little quad stretch. Switch it up. All right, let's come on up from there. All right, guys, that concludes today's class. I want to thank everybody for joining us all the time. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Stay safe out there, and we will see you next week. Have a great weekend. See you guys.